Scientists just turn seafood waste into working robot parts, and they're capable of carrying 200 times their own weight. A crustacean's shell is already an engineering masterpiece. It has rigid armor with flexible joints that are both lightweight and strong. It turns out this is almost impossible to reproduce using conventional manufacturing approaches, so rather than copy nature, the team reused it. The research team from EPFL took discarded langoustine shells and turned them into functional robotic actuators in an approach they are calling necrobotics. Our second story this week on scientists increasingly turning into necromancers. The researchers worked with 3 gram langoustine abdominal shells. They modified the exoskeleton with an elastomer through each joint, simulating an artificial tendon or muscle to provide movement control. Then they dipped the shells in a silicon coating for durability and environmental resistance, not to mention maybe to cover up the smell, before mounting them on a motor platform with an electrical actuator to achieve coordinated flexion and extension. In tests, these biohybrid components were contracted and flexed repeatedly up to 8 times per second. And in lift tests, the structures were capable of supporting payloads as heavy as 680 grams. By cycling the motion repeatedly, they were even able to get the platform to swim at a reasonably respectable 11 centimeters per second. And after use, obviously, the shells can biodegrade and the artificial components can be recovered and reused in a further system. Millions of crustacean shells are discarded globally every year, maybe suggesting food waste can become a scalable, low-carbon source of robotic hardware. Now, I'm not entirely convinced this leaves the lab anytime soon, but it does at least give us a new meaning for the term fish fingers. If you like science and think this is one shell of an idea, follow for more.